Hawkeye, Wikipedia Audio Hawkeye is a computer system used in numerous sports such as cricket, tennis, Gaelic football, badminton, hurling, rugby union, association football and volleyball, to visually track the trajectory of the ball and display a profile of its statistically most likely path as a moving image. The Sony-owned Hawkeye system was developed in the United Kingdom by Paul Hawkins. The system was originally implemented in 2001 for television purposes in cricket. The system works via six high-performance cameras, normally positioned on the underside of the stadium roof, which track the ball from different angles. The video from the six cameras is then triangulated and combined to create a three-dimensional representation of the ball's trajectory. Hawkeye is not infallible, but is accurate to within 3.6 mm and generally trusted as an impartial second opinion in sports. It has been accepted by governing bodies in tennis, cricket and association football as a means of adjudication. Hawkeye is used for the challenge system since 2006 in tennis and umpire decision review system in cricket since 2009. The system was rolled out for the 2013-14 Premier League season as a means of goal line technology. In December 2014 the clubs of the first division of Bundesliga decided to adopt this system for the 2015-16 season. Method of Operation All Hawkeye systems are based on the principles of triangulation using visual images and timing data provided by a number of high-speed video cameras located at different locations and angles around the area of play. For tennis there are 10 cameras. The system rapidly processes the video feeds from the cameras and ball tracker. A data store contains a predefined model of the playing area and includes data on the rules of the game. In each frame sent from each camera, the system identifies the group of pixels which corresponds to the image of the ball. It then calculates for each frame the position of the ball by comparing its position on at least two of the physically separate cameras at the same instant in time. A succession of frames builds up a record of the path along which the ball has traveled. It also predicts the future flight path of the ball and where it will interact with any of the playing area features already programmed into the database. The system can also interpret these interactions to decide infringements of the rules of the game. Where the ball pitched, the location of impact with the leg of the batsman, the projected path of the ball past the batsman. The system generates a graphic image of the ball path and playing area, which means that information can be provided to judges, television viewers or coaching staff in near real time. The tracking system is combined with a back-end database and archiving capabilities so that it is possible to extract and analyze trends and statistics about individual players, games, ball-to-ball -ball comparisons, etc. Engineers at Rope Manor Research Limited, a Siemens subsidiary in Romsey, England, developed the system in 2001. Paul Hawkins and David Sherry submitted a patent for the United Kingdom but withdrew their request. All of the technology and intellectual property was spun off into a separated company, Hawkeye Innovations Ltd., based in Winchester, Hampshire. On June 14, 2006, a group of investors led by the Wisden Group bought the company, who included Mark Getty, a member of the wealthy American family and business dynasty. The acquisition was intended to strengthen Wisden's presence in cricket and allow it to enter tennis and other international sports with Hawkeye working on implementing a system for basketball. According to Hawkeye's website, the system produces much more data than that shown on television. 
put up for sale in September 2010, it was sold as a complete entity to Japanese electronic giant Sony in March 2011. The technology was first used by Channel 4 during a test match between England and Pakistan on Lord's Cricket Ground, on May 21, 2001. It is used primarily by the majority of television networks to track the trajectory of balls in flight. In the winter season of 2008-2009 the ICC trialed a referral system where Hawkeye was used for referring decisions to the third umpire if a team disagreed with an LBW decision. The third umpire was able to look at what the ball actually did up to the point when it hit the batsman but could not look at the predicted flight of the ball after it hit the batsman. Its major use in cricket broadcasting is in analyzing leg before wicket decisions, where the likely path of the ball can be projected forward, through the batsman's legs, to see if it would have hit the stumps. Consultation of the third umpire, for conventional slow motion or hawkeye, on leg before wicket decisions, is currently sanctioned in international cricket even though doubts remain about its accuracy. Hawkeye Innovations Ltd The Hawkeye referral for a LBW decision is based on three criteria. In all three cases, marginal calls result in the on-field call being maintained. Due to its real-time coverage of bowling speed, the systems are also used to show delivery patterns of a bowler's behavior such as line and length, or swing-slash-turn information. At the end of an over, all six deliveries are often shown simultaneously to show a bowler's variations, such as slower deliveries, bouncers, and leg cutters. A complete record of a bowler can also be shown over the course of a match. Batsmen also benefit from the analysis of Hawkeye, as a record can be brought up of the deliveries from which a batsman scored. These are often shown as a 2D silhouetted figure of a batsman and color-coded dots of the balls faced by the batsman. Information such as the exact spot where the ball pitches or speed of the ball from the bowler's hand can also help in post-match analysis. In Serena Williams's quarter-final loss to Jennifer Capriati at the 2004 US Open, three line calls went against Williams in the final set, an auto-ref system was being tested during the match. Though the calls were not reversed, there was one overrule of a clearly correct call by the chair umpire Mariana Alves that the TV replay showed to be good. She was removed from consideration for further matches at that year's U.S. Open. These errors prompted talks about line calling assistance especially as the auto-ref system was being tested by the U.S. Open at that time and was shown to be very accurate. In late 2005 Hawkeye was tested by the International Tennis Federation in New York City and was passed for professional use. Hawkeye reported that the New York tests involved 80 shots being measured by the ITF's high-speed camera, a device similar to Max CAM. During an early test of the system at an exhibition tennis tournament in Australia, there was an instance when the tennis ball was shown as out, but the accompanying word was in. This was explained to be an error in the way the tennis ball was shown on the graphical display as a circle rather than as an ellipse. This was immediately corrected. Hawkeye has been used in television coverage of several major tennis tournaments, including Wimbledon, the Queen's Club Championships, the Australian Open, the Davis Cup and the Tennis Masters Cup. The US Open Tennis Championship announced they would make official use of the technology for the 2006 US Open where each player receives two challenges per set. It is also used as part of a larger tennis simulation implemented by IBM called Point Tracker. Deployment in Sports Cricket 
the 2006 Hopman Cup in Perth, Western Australia, was the first elite-level tennis tournament where players were allowed to challenge point-ending line calls, which were then reviewed by the referees using Hawkeye technology. It used 10 cameras feeding information about ball position to the computers. Jamia Jackson was the first player to challenge a call using the system. Tennis Unification of Rules Association Football Snooker Gaelic Games In March 2006, at the NASDAQ 100 Open in Miami, Hawkeye was used officially for the first time at a tennis tour event. Later that year, the U.S. Open became the first Grand Slam event to use the system during play, allowing players to challenge line calls. The 2007 Australian Open was the first Grand Slam tournament of 2007 to implement Hawkeye in challenges to line calls, where each tennis player in Rod Laver Arena was allowed two incorrect challenges per set and one additional challenge should a tiebreaker be played. In the event of an advantage final set, challenges were reset to two for each player every 12 games, i.e. 6 all. 12 all. Controversies followed the event as at times Hawkeye produced erroneous output. In 2008, tennis players were allowed three incorrect challenges per set instead. Any leftover challenges did not carry over to the next set. Once, Amelie Moresmo challenged a ball that was called in, and Hawkeye showed the ball was out by less than a millimeter but the call was allowed to stand. As a result, the point was replayed and Moresmo did not lose an incorrect challenge. The Hawkeye technology used in the 2007 Dubai Tennis Championships had some minor controversies. Defending champion Rafael Nadal accused the system of incorrectly declaring an out ball to be in following his exit. The umpire had called a ball out. When Mikhail Yuzny challenged the decision, Hawkeye said it was in by 3 mm. Yuzny said after that he himself thought the mark may have been wide but then offered that this kind of technology error could easily have been made by linesmen and umpires. Nadal could only shrug, saying that had this system been on clay, the mark would have clearly shown Hawkeye to be wrong. The area of the mark left by the ball on hard court is a portion of the total area that the ball was in contact with the court. Australian Football The 2007 Wimbledon Championships also implemented the Hawkeye system as an officiating aid on centre court and court one, and each tennis player was allowed three incorrect challenges per set. If the set produced a tiebreaker, each player was given an additional challenge. Additionally, in the event of a final set, where there is no tiebreak, each player's number of challenges was reset to 3 if the game score reached 6-6, and again at 12-12. Timuraz Gabashvili, in his first round match against Roger Federer, made the first ever Hawkeye challenge on center court. Additionally, during the finals of Federer against Rafael Nadal, Nadal challenged a shot which was called out. Hawkeye showed the ball as in, just clipping the line. The reversal agitated Federer enough for him to request that the umpire turn off the Hawkeye technology for the remainder of the match. In the 2009 Australian Open fourth round match between Roger Federer and Tom Berdych, each challenged an out call. The Hawkeye system was not available when he challenged, likely due to a particularly pronounced shadow on the court. As a result, the original call stood. In the 2009 Indian Wells Masters quarterfinals match between Ivan Ljubiai and Andy Murray, Murray challenged an out call. 
the Hawkeye system indicated that the ball landed on the center of the line despite instant replay images showing that the ball was clearly out. It was later revealed that the Hawkeye system had mistakenly picked up the second bounce, which was on the line, instead of the first bounce of the ball. Immediately after the match, Murray apologized to Ljubisic for the call, and acknowledged that the point was out. The Hawkeye system was developed as a replay system, originally for TV broadcast coverage. As such, it initially could not call ins and outs live. The Hawkeye Innovations website states that the system performs with an average error of 3.6 mm. The standard diameter of a tennis ball is 67 mm, equating to a 5% error relative to ball diameter. This is roughly equivalent to the fluff on the ball. Currently, only clay court tournaments, notably the French Open being the only Grand Slam, are found to be generally free of Hawkeye technology due to marks left on the clay where the ball bounced to evidence a disputed line call. Chair umpires are then required to get out of their seat and examine the mark on court with the player by his side to discuss the chair umpire's decision. Until March 2008, the International Tennis Federation, Association of Tennis Professionals, Women's Tennis Association, Grand Slam Committee, and several individual tournaments had conflicting rules on how Hawkeye was to be utilized. A key example of this was the number of challenges a player was permitted per set, which varied among events. Some tournaments allowed players a greater margin for error, with players allowed an unlimited numbers of challenges over the course of a match. In other tournaments players received two or three per set. On March 19, 2008, the aforementioned organizing bodies announced a uniform system of rules, three unsuccessful challenges per set, with an additional challenge if the set reaches a tiebreak. In an advantage set players are allowed three unsuccessful challenges every 12 games. The next scheduled event on the men and women's tour, the 2008 Sony Ericsson Open, was the first event to implement these new, Standardized Rules Badminton Hawkeye is one of the goal line technology systems authorized by FIFA. Hawkeye tracks the ball, and informs the referee if a ball fully crosses the goal line into the goal. The purpose of the system is to eliminate errors in assessing if a goal was scored. The Hawkeye system was one of the systems trialed by the sports governors prior to the 2012 change to the laws of the game that made GLT a permanent part of the game, and it has been used in various competitions since then. GLT is not compulsory and, owing to the cost of Hawkeye and its competitors, systems are only deployed in a few high-level competitions. As of July 2017, licensed Hawkeye systems are installed at 96 stadiums. By number of installations, Hawkeye is the most popular GLT system. Hawkeye is the system used in the Premier League, Bundesliga among other leagues. Doubts At the 2007 World Snooker Championship the BBC used Hawkeye for the first time in its television coverage to show player views, particularly of potential snookers. It has also been used to demonstrate intended shots by players when the actual shot has gone awry. It is now used by the BBC at every World Championship, as well as some other major tournaments. The BBC used to use the system sporadically for instance in the 2009 Masters at Wembley the Hawkeye was at most used once or twice per frame. Its usage has decreased significantly and is now only used within the World Championships and very rarely in any other tournament on the snooker tour. In contrast to tennis, 
Hawkeye is never used in snooker to assist referees' decisions and primarily used to assist viewers in showing what the player is facing. In Ireland, Hawkeye was introduced for all championship matches at Croke Park in Dublin in 2013. This followed consideration by the Gaelic Athletic Association for its use in Gaelic football and hurling. A trial took place in Croke Park on April 2, 2011. The doubleheader featured football between Dublin and Down and hurling between Dublin and Kilkenny. Over the previous two seasons there had been many calls for the technology to be adopted, especially from Kildare fans, who saw two high-profile decisions go against their team in important games. The GAA said it would review the issue after the 2013 Sam Maguire Cup was presented. Use in Computer Games Hawkeye's use was intended to eliminate contentious scores. It was first used in the championship on Saturday, June 1, 2013 for the Kildare vs. Offaly game, part of a doubleheader with a second game of Dublin vs. Westmeath. It was used to confirm that Offaly substitute Peter Cunningham's attempted point had gone wide 10 minutes into the second half. Use of Hawkeye was suspended during the 2013 All-Ireland Hurling semi-finals on August 18 due to a human error during an under-18 hurling game between Limerick and Galway. During the minor game, Hawkeye ruled a point for Limerick as a miss although the graphic showed the ball passing inside the posts, causing confusion around the stadium. The referee ultimately waived the valid point wide provoking anger from fans, viewers, and TV analysts covering the game live. The system was subsequently stood down for the senior game which followed, owing to an inconsistency in the generation of a graphic. Limerick, who were narrowly defeated after extra time, announced they would be appealing over Hawkeye's costly failure. Hawkeye apologized for this incident and admitted that it was a result of human error. There have been no further incidents during the GAA. The incident drew attention from the UK, where Hawkeye had made its debut in English football's Premier League the day before. Hawkeye was introduced to a second venue, Semple Stadium, Thals, in 2016. There is no TV screen at Semple, instead, an electronic screen displays a green taw if a score has been made, and a red nil if the shot is wide. It was used at a third venue, Perk Uichamite, Cork, in July 2017, for the All-Ireland Hurling quarter-finals between Clare vs Tipperary and Wexford vs Waterford. No official Irish language term exists, although some publications have used the direct translation Suil and Tseb Hike. On July 4, 2013, the Australian Football League announced that they would be testing Hawkeye technology to be used in the score review process. Hawkeye was used for all matches played at the Microgram during Round 15 of the 2013 AFL season. The AFL also announced that Hawkeye was only being tested, and would not be used in any score reviews during the round. BWF introduced Hawkeye technology in 2014 after testing other instant review technologies for line call decision in BWF major events. Hawkeye's tracking cameras are also used to provide shuttlecock speed and other insight in badminton matches. Hawkeye was formally introduced in 2014 India Super Series tournament. Hawkeye is now familiar to sport fans around the world for the views it brings into sports like cricket and tennis. Although this new technology has for the most part been embraced, it has been criticized by from some quarters. In the 2007 Wimbledon Championships men's singles final between Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer, 
a ball that appeared out was called in by one millimeter, a distance smaller than the advertised margin of error. Some commentators have criticized the system's 3.6 mm statistical margin of error as too large. Others have noted that while 3.6 mm is extraordinarily accurate, this margin of error is only for the witness trajectory of the ball. In 2008, an article in a peer-reviewed journal consolidated many of these doubts. The authors acknowledged the value of the system but noted that it was probably fallible to some extent, and that its failure to depict a margin of error gave a spurious depiction of events. The authors also argued that the probable limits to its accuracy were not acknowledged by players, officials, commentators, or spectators. They hypothesis that Hawkeye may struggle with predicting the trajectory of a cricket ball after bouncing, the time between a ball bouncing and striking the batsman may be too short to generate the three frames needed to plot a curve accurately. However, the paper did not attempt to establish the accuracy of the system, and the only technical information presented was taken from an article on the CrickInfo website. The use of the Hawkeye brand and simulation has been licensed to Codemasters for use in the video game Brian Lara International Cricket 2005 to make the game appear more like television coverage, and subsequently in Brian Lara International Cricket 2007, Ashes Cricket 2009 and International Cricket 2010. A similar version of the system has since been incorporated into the Xbox 360 version of Smash Court Tennis 3, but it is not present in the PSP version of the game, although it does feature a normal challenge of the ball which does not use the Hawkeye feature. It is also featured in Don Bradman Cricket 2014 and 2017.